I just got out of the shower, so if I look like a wet rat, you know why. Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. I have to be a little bit quiet because it's really late, but I still really wanted to film this video. Today's video, even though it's a Tuesday, is not going to be a trans education video, and that's just because I had an experience this week, well, within this last week, that I wanted to talk to you guys about. This week, I was blessed with the opportunity to go see Troy Sivan in concert. We got to go to the Royal Oak Music Theater in Royal Oak, and we got to see him perform with Lainey as the opening act. And I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my experience because everything that I've been seeing online has been super positive from their Troy experiences, but that's not really the case of what happened with me at the concert. Before I get really deep and into it, I want to say that Troy was phenomenal. Troy was great and none of this that is negative was Troy's fault in any sense. But with that, I'm going to go on to the rest of the video and tell you why the Troy Sivan concert was the worst experience of my life. To start off, this part's my fault, is that I waited in line for like six hours in freezing cold weather, like below freezing. It was hailing, it was snowing, and then it like rained for a little bit, and the sidewalks were flooded, and everything was flooded. I ruined my shoes, and it was kind of a disaster area. And I mean, when I say cold, it was cold. And not only that, but VIP ticket holders, which I was, were supposed to be let in at 6 o'clock. That's what it said on the ticket, that's what it said on the website, that's what it said everywhere. Well, the venue decided not to let us in until 6.45, which was only 15 minutes before the concert was supposed to start. So a lot of us were already getting incredibly irritated at that because we had paid extra money to get in early and like that was part of the extra $60 on the ticket was to be able to get into the venue early and we only got in about 15 minutes before everybody else. Not to mention it was completely unorganized. The people had no idea what they're doing. The people who were working at the venue were incredibly rude and it was just not the kind of entrance to a huge concert that you'd expect. Not only that but when we got into the venue the VIP section and area was not sectioned off. Apparently VIP only meant early admission even though it was only 15 minutes prior to when everybody else was getting in. And that didn't really become a problem until later in the show. When the concert started, all was good and Lainey was performing. The problem started when the lead singer of Lainey, I can't remember his name and I feel kind of bad about that, he jumped into the crowd area and people freaked out. People started pushing and shoving and running and I was being knocked around like a pinball. I'm small and round, like I move easily and people were just not taking into consideration that smaller people exist. With that, people kept pushing and pushing and pushing. I had no room to breathe or move and it started to give me a panic attack. And the panic attack pretty much continued throughout Lainey's entire performance and into when Troy started to perform. When Troy started to perform, everybody started trying to push and elbow their way up to the very front. At the beginning of the concert, me being VIP, I was probably third row. There were 125 VIP tickets available out of 1,700 tickets total. So that's a lot of people. And I was standing up there and I was in third row at the start, in front, in the dead center. And as the concert went on and I had my panic attack, at, during the panic attack, people kept taking advantage of that and I was kind of standing still and they kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me back. By the end of the concert, I ended up at the very back of the front tier which is definitely not what I paid for because I did pay the extra money for VIP to be up front and be that close to Troy but it wasn't sectioned off at all so everybody else in general admission was able to get in. VIP was also general admission but I feel as if the VIP section should have been sectioned off so that regular general admission and VIP general admission were separated. Especially because people like me who can't really fight and push back were just getting taken advantage of and thrown around. Not only that but people who are incredibly tall, this guy who is maybe six foot five, deliberately stood right in front of me and just stood there for the entire concert. Not to mention for the majority of the concert, I couldn't see anything anyway because I'm so short. I ended up having to watch basically Troy's entire performance through my phone or other people's phones because I just couldn't see anything. And I mean, this guy was like a brick and he just stood right in front of me the whole time. And it was really irritating because he was so tall that I couldn't even look over his shoulder. The people attending this concert were rude, and I will not believe for a second that these people were really fans of Troy. I know that Troy would not condone such behavior. There were people having panic attacks where they had to leave, and I was going to get at that point, and people would not let them through. They would not let them walk past so they could leave the venue. And that's a horrible thing. Like, why wouldn't you let somebody who's about to get sick of anxiety out? And these people 
just kept pushing by. Some of the people that we had talked to during had gotten up to the front and there were these people pushing down on this 10 year old boy's shoulders, shoving him and moving him and batting him around. That's not the way someone should behave. People were incredibly rude and disrespectful. And even afterwards when I was trying to wait with my friend Sarah to see if maybe Troy would come out of his tour bus, people were pushing and shoving. And I ended up being pushed to the entire back of that too where my friend Sarah was at the very front. And I kept asking, hey, can I please get up there or can she come back here because we're together and I can't lose each other. And people would not move. They were so rude. And we had people next to us that were trying to like help me and help me get up there to her and other people were just like, no, we're not moving. You don't get to move. It was incredibly rude and disrespectful and it was such a bad environment. And I don't blame this at all on Troy. Troy is not the one at fault that VIP was not sectioned off. Troy is not the one at fault that the people who were working at the Roy Oak Music Theater were incredibly rude to everyone. It is not Troy's fault that the people that attended the concert didn't care about other people. They were rude, they were pushing, they were elbowing, and they were hurting other people. Not to mention the complete disregard for people who have difficulty being in spaces like that. The experience of the concert overall was completely miserable in one of the most uncomfortable situations that I've ever been in in my life. Now, when I look past the physical aspects of it all, Troy was amazing. Troy was such a good performer and it was amazing to be able to see him live. But I would have enjoyed it a lot more had I been able to stand and listen like a normal human being instead of being pushed around like a pinball. And it makes me really sad because I'll probably never be able to see Troy again live. And it was a really bad experience. And I'm making this video not only to tell you guys the experience that I had, but also to tell you to watch out if you are going to any of his concerts to please be courteous and respectful of other people that are attending. And please watch out for people who may be having panic attacks and things like that and need to get out and help them because not everything is peachy keen like everybody seems to be making it out on social media. By the time this video goes up, I will have posted the entire Snapchat story of when I Snapchatted the day at the Troy concert. The day was pretty good overall if I ignore this whole dilemma within the concert. And during that day, I actually got the opportunity to Snapchat for the Troy on Tour Snapchat, which has people at every single stop Snapchatting. So that video will be over on my side channel and you can check that out if you want. That's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to talk to you guys about this experience and let you guys know what's going on, what could potentially happen to you, and to have you guys maybe think a little bit more when you go to a concert. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Have you ever had a really bad concert experience or anything like that? If you want, you can subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week, one on Tuesdays, which is usually a trans education video, and one on Thursdays. So that's two videos a week coming your way. And to keep up with all the drama in my life in real time, you can follow me on all of my social media platforms, which is at the Riley Kyle, and the links to all of my social media platforms will be in the description. And I think that's all I have to talk about, so I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm probably going to go to bed, so I will see you on Thursday, okay? Bye!